Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and this is Catherine the 19th. Welcome to another episode of Creator Club Video Edition. On this week's episode of Creator Club, I am going to be giving you an introductory lesson on Premiere Pro. This is the entry level basics, how to edit in Premiere Pro for YouTube. I know a lot of people find Adobe Premiere Pro pretty intimidating when you first open it up. There's a lot of different panels involved. There's a lot of different stuff going on. So it can kind of be scary to try to figure out exactly how to navigate it when you've never used it before. So that's what I want to try to eliminate with this video. I want to try to help you dive into it without being intimidated or, you know, confused or unsure. So hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to edit your first video in Premiere. Before we jump into the actual program, I want to give you a bit of a lo-fi overview of the program. I think this is a good place to start because like I said, Premiere can be kind of intimidating. So when you first jump into it, it's kind of overwhelming. You're not really sure what's going on. So I'm going to show you what's going on here and then we'll open up the program on my laptop. Okay, so I'm going to show you how Premiere works by doing a bit of a doodle. There are four main panels in Premiere when you first open it. You're going to have your two like video player panels that are along the top and then you're going to have your project panel here. There's going to be this little bar dealy here and then your timeline here. This is the basic setup of the editing panel. Over here you have your project files. This is the section where you will import all of the footage that you take on your camera and you can browse through it here. And what you'll do after you've selected your clip is drag it into this window here where there will be a thumbnail and you can play it. There'll be a little bit of a timeline along the bottom and what you can do is select your in and out points so that only that section um, will show up in your timeline. So after you've selected your in and out points, you're going to drag it into your timeline here. The timeline is probably the most important part of this entire workspace. What you have is video and audio um, tracks kind of aligned down the middle that will split these up. There can be, you know, multiple of these tracks that will come up from the center like this so you can layer your footage. You'll basically just drag them in order into your timeline. This little section here is your toolbar. There's basically only two important functions in the toolbar that you need to know about right now and that is the cut and the um, selection tool. I have indicated them here with their keyboard shortcuts. You have cut and you have select. V stands for select because it kind of represents a pointer tool and the way you can use those is by hitting command C or command V. This is me trying to draw the command symbol. Once you have your tracks lined up in your timeline, then you can go in and use the selection tool to drag them around or you can use your um, you know, razor tool to cut them down and then, you know, rearrange them further. The same you can do for audio. Once you have them all lined up here, they will begin to appear in your final preview panel. So you can watch back your entire project here. Okay, now that we've got the basics on paper, let's open up the real thing and see how this translates on screen. When you first open up Premiere, you'll have a little info box kind of screen thing going on right here. Anyway, so you see we have this little info box that pops up here. It has a bit of a guide of different places that you might want to start when you open up the program. If you've never used it before, then this little section will be blank. Uh, but this shows me what projects I've been working on recently. So that's usually what I go to. I'll just click on my um, vlog project file to get started. But if you're totally new, uh, you have some options over here, new project and open project. I've never used the collaboration options before, so I've never tried the team project, but we're keeping this simple for today. So what you're going to want to do when you first open up Premiere is select new project. 
Now, this looks like there might be a lot of information going on here with uh, this new project pop-up, but don't worry, it's actually not that confusing. All you're gonna wanna do is create a name for your project. We'll just call this test, and then um, decide where you wanna save it. I'm just gonna put it on the desktop for now because I'm not actually gonna use this. So there, that's all you really have to do, name and location. Don't worry about all this general scratch, just da da da. We'll just let it how it is and press OK. So when you first open up Premiere, this is most likely what it's going to look like. You can customize your own workspace, uh, but we won't worry about that for now. But that's why if I go over to Katie's workspace here, it looks a bit different than if I go to editing. Um, but editing is where you're gonna go to actually edit your videos. That's pretty uh, self-explanatory. So like we went over in the little paper overview, we have our uh, source clip, we have our like sequence preview panel, this is where our project stuff goes, and the timeline, and here are the tools. So the very first step to doing your first Premiere project is importing your footage. So you probably would have already brought in the footage from your camera onto your computer somewhere. So you can just go to your little project folder in the bottom left and double click to import, or you can go to file, import here. Another option is command I. But I know the keyboard shortcuts can get a little bit confusing at first. So um, it automatically will bring us up to the desktop, but I'm just gonna navigate to my most recent vlog footage just to use as an example. So I'm just gonna select all of the clips that I want to import and then click import. So now what we have in this bottom left corner here is all of the clips uh, that I selected from my folder. So um, the thumbnails can kind of make it hard to see. Um, so you have the option to click to the list view, uh, but then of course you don't necessarily know what each option is and that is why I've kind of rearranged my own workspace to make this, make it a bit more visible, but we can work with this, especially if, um, when you're first starting out, you're probably just trying to line some clips up together and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So let's just say, um, you know, we want to start with this clip of me talking to the camera. Uh, you can drag it into this source um, panel and you can preview it. So as you can see, there's a bit of a timeline here where you can scrub through the video and you can preview it before you decide to put it in your timeline or not. Another thing that you can do in this panel is select the in and out points of your clip before you put it in the timeline. Basically what this means is before you drag the entire clip into your timeline, you can decide where you want that clip to start and finish. So if it's a clip where at the beginning you're raising up your camera and like kind of um, uh, not sure what to say and you want to cut that out, you can do that by selecting your in point. That's the left bracket right here. So say I want the in point to be like this. As you can see now the timeline lights up a bit and that's going to be the section that actually ends up in your timeline when you drag the clip in. And let's just say I want the out point to be here. So now what I can do is I can drag the entire video by clicking just on the preview of it and drag it into my timeline panel. Now I have that in my timeline and um, what I can do in the timeline, obviously, is line up clip after clip to create my final project. So you can kind of imagine it as this is the preview, we collect everything in the timeline, and it creates this final product on the right hand side. Before I move on from the source panel, I just want to point out a couple quick tips. If you don't want the entire um, video going into your timeline, you can select either just video or just audio that can be useful depending on what you're trying to do. Um, and so the main things you need to remember are just the in and out points and dragging video, audio, or both. Moving on to the timeline, a couple things to note is that uh, the audio is always gonna be on the bottom. Here we see A1, A2, A3, those are the different audio tracks, and then V1, V2, V3, all the way up you know, to whatever number. Uh, these are your video tracks. Basically what we can keep doing here is just dragging um, our project files into the source footage panel, selecting in and out points, and dragging them into the timeline. So obviously you're going to want to do this with more discretion than I'm currently uh, showing you as an example. 
Uh, but here, um, now you can see uh, that everything just kind of lines up and then, you know, when it plays over the cut, it'll just automatically go to the next uh, clip. So those are like the absolute basics of Premiere. You have your project files, which you can preview in your source uh, footage panel, and then you can add them to your timeline, which will then show up in your final product preview panel. That is a general system for editing in Premiere. Of course, it can become more complicated, like almost infinitely. There's so much that you can do with this program, which is why I think it's so important to start to learn it as a beginner, and then it can grow and change with you as you learn more about video editing. Um, and as you, you know, make more complicated and more complex projects. That feels like it was a very quick overview, but I know this video is getting long already, so I think I'm going to end it there for today. That is really all you need to know for getting started to edit your first project in Premiere. Like I said, this can become far more complex. There's so much you can do, but that is what you need to know to import clips and to create your first project by simply lining up and cutting clips in the timeline. All right, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. I know there is so much to learn in Premiere, and this was just scratching the surface of it. So please do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions at all about what I went over in this video, or if you want me to make a video about any particular part of Premiere that I've shown, or if I haven't shown it yet, uh, just let me know what you want to know so that you can become better at editing. Thanks so much for watching. As always, I love you all. I hope you're following your dreams, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!